I've been trying out a lot of ideas since we last talked. Electrochemical machining built off of 3D printer kinematics is pretty cool, but I just can't convince myself that Jet ECM is especially useful. It lacks raw power. It's slow. What I really want is the ability to machine thick metal with 2D toolpaths on my desktop for cheap. Think like the power of a plasma cutter or fiber laser or wire EDM. Bax EDM is probably the best known and most accessible DIY-ish electrical discharge machining expert on the web. His work allows users to cut highly accurate and precise 2D toolpaths in thick metal, and while it's a bit out of my price range, it is pretty inspiring. What if I sent the electrode sideways into the workpiece and cut full depth like Bax has been doing? Can I do wire ECM? That might give me the power I'm looking for, so I decided to try it out with some 1mm steel. For this operation, I'll be directing electrolyte down coaxially around the cathode in an effort to localize the reaction. With a suitably slow feed rate picked out, let's start. And it works. Pretty cool. Uh, that was way faster than routing fluid through the nozzle and milling. I guess let's try some thicker metal. I put together this small workpiece for testing wire ECM. It's three pieces of 2mm thick 4130 steel paid for by user at WafflesAK. Thank you very much, Waffle. If you like open source and you want to help out with this expensive, time consuming work, I've got crypto addresses below. Back to the workpiece, it steps up from 2 to 4 to 6 millimeter, providing what I think is a good initial test of the wire cutter. Let's slow down the feed rate a bit from the previous cut and get started. Two millimeter cuts surprisingly well. This is actually kind of exciting. This is already so much faster and more powerful than Jet ECM. Let's try the others. Four millimeters also cutting well. Cool. Honestly, I'm too excited to see how it looks under the light. Let's just move right into the six millimeter steel. This is 4130 impact resistant chromoly steel being cut on a lightly modified 3D printer. To the best of my knowledge, no one has ever done something like this before. We're honestly approaching the capabilities of machines many magnitudes more expensive. And yet, here it is, right next to my PC, just silently chugging away. That's pretty amazing. Taking a look at the workpiece, there's clearly some work to be done to improve cut quality and reduce the overcut, but it did work, basically without a fuss too. I think I'm going to keep pursuing this technique. The performance I've seen today is quite enough to convince me that it is viable. I've also been toying around with the idea of a beta kit release, a complete but maybe less well documented and polished version of this, for people to play with so I can get some feedback in the Discord and we can really work out the kinks. If that's interesting to you, please let me know below and hit the appropriate buttons to let the robots know what you thought of this content. It's always nice to take some time to share, so thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.